late to Movie Threesome. We do have a guest joining us. Missy Pyle will be with us soon. I'm super pumped. But before we get to that, Christian is back. I'm back! Yes, which means we get to talk about last week's weekly wager. We bet on Batman v Superman and Christian bet 183.5. I bet 182, and the actual box office was 166, which means for the first time in 2016, I, I am, am the winner! Winner! I'm the winner, I'm the winner! Guys, I'm the winner! That was not nice. So this week's Loser Should comes from YouTube user Arturo Higginbotham, and he says, Loser should dress up as the person next to them and imitate them for the rest of the show, or shave their head bald. Easy, 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 easy. Dressing up, are you kidding me? I'll do it, see you later. <laughs> Guys, I'm serious, don't feel bad, because I had to eat a toothpaste sandwich, wear boots filled with nacho cheese. I got snow dumped on my head at Sundance. I had to wear 20 sweaters. I had to dress up as Kylo Ren and hit the quan. I had to reveal something to my dad that was bad that I did as a kid. And I had to wear boxing gloves and drink a soda. So I really don't think Christian having to dress up as me and imitate me for a little while is so bad. <laughs> this is amazing. How does it feel to be Tiffany Smith? It's pretty awesome. Smile, smile, laugh, laugh. <laughs> I love comic book movies. <laughs> Wait, hold on, my dad just left a comment. <laughs> How does it feel to finally lose? Uh, yellow! That is like me. Uh, guys, I really think that we should make him switch back to his regular clothes before Missy Pyle comes on, because I don't want to <laughs> freak her out. I'm a winner! <laughs> great, this is great. Okay, guys, seriously, can we get him to change? Please? Yay! Thank you so much, Missy, for joining us and completing our movie threesome. Yes, and this is a movie show, as you know. So the question we wanted to post to you, Missy, is what is your favorite movie? My favorite movie of all, all time, time would have to be The Princess Bride. Oh, great choice. As you wish. Yeah, I remember seeing it as a double feature <gasps> with dirty uh, with dirty dancing. Oh, that's, that's awesome. You know, and Wait, I think it was in the eighth grade. I know. And I had a friend who went and she saw Dirty Dancing and she was like, that changed my life. And I was like, whatever. And then they played Princess, Princess Bride. Bride and I was like, that changed my life. No more rhymes now and I mean it. Anybody want a peanut? Nice. <laughs> You can do better than that. You all I day love it. All right, all I right. Don't softballs. It. You've done so many projects, and right now you have like nine coming out in the near future, which you're like, I don't even know what I don't know where they're, they're coming. Some of them are coming out in someone's living room. <laughs> how do you balance it all, though? Like, how do you even remember what's coming yes out, what you're to, doing? I am a whore, and I say yes to everything that I'm like, yes, I'm available, yes. That's, yes. I'm guessing, how we got you on this show then, right? Yes. yes. <laughs> are there any roles that you had that I would done, say no to? <laughs> Or something no. that you want to play. Like any you know, character. I had an offer in the movie Drive Angry. I was offered the part of this woman that Nicolas Cage has sex with, um, and while he's having sex with her, like people are trying to kill him. Wow. And I really kind of liked the idea of it because I was like, well, I'm not going to have you know this. Uh, not that my I'm not. <laughs> it's okay. You can say it. You have a banging body. It's okay. It's fine. It's all right. I want to be like 80 and be like, look what Grandma did. You know? <laughs> But I would like to do, I mean, I'd like to do like a, you know, an action-packed, you know, situation. Well, and just talking action-packed, I mean, Pandemic is out now. Oh, yeah, I did do that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, is that why yeah. we're here? Yes. <laughs> That's, right That's what we're here to talk about. So it's out now in theaters. Oh. You guys can get it on VOD or on Fandango now. What? Yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. Tell us about working on this one, because obviously the tech behind it is so different than any other film. It's based on like a first-person shooter game. So the uh, the camera person, <laughs> she would have the camera on her head. Wow. So whenever it was your coverage. You were actually sitting like if we were on the bus, because a lot of it takes care of place on a school bus. Yep. You'd be like behind the bus, shouting your lines out, and she'd be like sitting in your spot, like trying not to. <laughs> and she had like a little um, neck brace that she pumped up with air so that she wouldn't have permanent neck damage. Well, we're talking about this new technology, so I think it's proper to bring up today's topics. So obviously, with new technology all the time, it always pushes movies in new directions. I mean, you've got Avatar that came out that I think people were really excited about. It re-pushed mm -hmm. 3D. It, it's kind of the new 3D that we yeah. have now is probably because of Avatar. Yeah, and you had to see it in the theater because yeah. of that, which is so right. cool. And isn't there like 4D now where yeah. you can like ex you know, be in your chair? and? I feel like the first time I remember it happening was Captain EO. 
at Disneyland. Oh wow! Oh. You know that little? I'm old like school. old Jackson. school. I go to Disneyland a yeah, lot. Yeah, yeah. But Captain EO had like the like chairs that moved sure. while you were watching. Did Francis Ford Coppola direct those? Uh, I think yeah. he did. I think. Fact Lucas. check it. I thought Captain EO was Lucas. Mm -hmm. well, well, it was Lucas, but uh, Coppola producer. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> the first person shooter seems to be a brand new thing now. Like we had found footage and now Hardcore Henry, now pandemic. Mm -hmm. How is it to shoot it as an actress? Like to see this, is it, well, is it jarring? Well, it's, it's a little jarring. I mean, it's a little different because you're always, you know, the idea, like we're acting in a scene yeah. together, we're looking in each other's eyes, it's very meaningful, you know, we're taking, but now you're looking right into the camera. The person you're acting the scene with is, you know, maybe over here around. Yeah. You know, Are they giving you anything at all, the people? I mean, <laughs> no. Of course, some I mean, of course. No, sometimes. I didn't, know, I didn't know they were just like they're like, hey, I'm over here in case you need an I island. I don't think that's anything with some actors. Dreamers. Speaking of games, speaking of the first-person shooter, it is time for game, game time. time. And this game is called The Sound of Muse. Hick. What is that? Well, the two ladies are going to put their hand in. They're going to choose a particular name. It's going to be the name of a movie, except it's going to be jarbled. All right, Missy's going to go first. Now, even if you know it, while she's going, she's going to hear herself say it. Do not answer. It's not your turn. It helps you to figure it out. Ah. Go ahead. Okay. Madam Max Firoad. Madam Max, Madam, Madam. Oh, oh, oh um, um, Fury Road. Mad Max Fury Road. I give it to her. Yes, Woo! Mad Max Fury oh, Road. That's while. it. Well done. Tiffany, let's see. Let's what do you see. got? Uh-oh, uh what do you got? Pond oh. Hammock Pandemic. Wow, look at Tiffany. Oh! Tank Love Hearth Heal Delane. Thank Thank love, thank love, hearth say healed. Say it faster, say it slower. Tank love, hearth healed lane. Got anything? I have no idea what Ten that is. Tank Cloverfield Lane. Tank oh. love, tank love, ten clover. That is the that one's hard. From. It's okay. That one was we, hard. we actually just fired our right. Say it loud. Cape Anna Mary Cassieville War. Close. Cape Anna Mary Cassieville War. Try to <gasps> mix it up. Try to mix it up a little bit. Cape Anna Mary. Okay, now say the next one. Cassieville War. Cassieville War. Try to say it fast. Cassieville War. Say it in an accent. Cape Dan America. Yeah! <laughs> oh! <laughs> She's rooting for you! Yeah, you say I don't it. You say yes, and it still sounds like the same words to me. Cape Dan Mary. All right, you're done. Great. It's Captain America Civil War! Hey! What the assist? Oh, you helped I'm it. giving you both a point on that, that one. That was a dual point for yeah, sure. I'm giving I would have helped you too. on the last one if I had any clue. I don't know. You know Stop being so nice to one another. The Heavenant. Heavenant. Oh. Heavenant. They're. They're Heavenant. They're Heavenant. Let her guess. No, don't. Look at me. They're Heavenant. Save it fast. They're Heavenant. <gasps> The Revenant. Hey! Oh, yeah. 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 I said that like eight times. <laughs> last one. This is it. All right, this is our last one. This is one. the last one. Here we go. Bottom and be soup omen. <laughs> Donna if juice dice. Uh. Oh, Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. And with that, Boom. that's the game. Woo! Tiebreaker all around the board. It's a tie. I would say thank you to Missy Pyle for playing. Make and go. You go. Yep, you no, go. She's your teammate. You go ahead. No, I'm good. Go. I'm going to let you do right, something. Fine. Follow Missy Pyle at Missy Pyle. <laughs> Missy Pyle, yeah, but it's Missy with an I. So what to do. And make sure you see yeah. Pandemic, obviously. That's Fandango now. That's right. iTunes, on demand. Everywhere you look. Go see Pandemic. Everybody wants some Pandemic. Oh, there I you like go. that. Hey. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. And make sure you click right over there to subscribe. And check out past episodes right there. Where else should they check out? You guys, if you want to check out some of the movies that we talked about, like Pandemic, make sure you head over to Fandango now. And download the Fandango Movie Clips app on your smartphone. And we're going to be on a bit of a break here. Because we're going to be watching all those movies on Fandango now. Nice plug. So make sure you check us out, though. Subscribe if you're not already. We'll be back soon. Yes, we will. Oh, nice voice. Yes, it is. Enough.